Hey yo together and very welcome to another episode of the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! That's right, today it's on Whirlwind. Isn't that fun? With another TVC again. And spawning in the top right hand side of Whirlwind. Whirlwind. The Red Terran playing for Pro Kings, it's me Alex Sasha. And the blue Zerg spawning in the bottom right hand side of Whirlwind. It's Grimaldi. We going for Hatch first. Oh wow. That's unusual. Hatch first is really, really not normal opening. I mean it's it's viable, but normally you see uh, Hatch gas pool, I think. And this is somewhat different because he's still on 14 supply. And for me we see CC first, so two unusual builds, or not unusual, but not very common builds against each other, which is really interesting. This Overlord <laughs> will definitely scout. Uh, lucky where I am located, so... Okay. Lucky Grimaldi. That's totally fine. But with this opening he can't really put a lot of pressure on me. He still has not taken any gas. And I think that's the reason why this uh, build has fallen out of popularity. Um, against Reaper it's not that strong. And it's really difficult to defend. L like, basically it's impossible to defend 3 Rex Reaper. Even though it's rarely on this map, but still. It's... Almost impossible, I would say, to defend three Rex Reaper against uh, uh, without without speedlings. Like if you have slow s slow circlings and only queens, it's really difficult. Like now, it it shouldn't be possible to defend that three Rex Reaper opening then. But let's see what's happened here. Uh, bunker is on the way. More barracks, some gas, and. I think one SCV died here, yes. Looks like the corpse of an SCV. SCV corpse. Blah, 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 blah. Dead. So far it's a very... How it's called? A very slow game. Uh, not much action going on. For now. But it's okay, the action is just going to be built up. I'm sure uh, we will see something at least. I mean someone has to win this somehow. And in an RTS you normally win by dealing damage, using units, uh, killing stuff. So this means action and we definitely should see this. Okay, so it's still... The third base is early. Quite early for Grimaldi, and he's not doing. B he's still not taking any gas. This opening, I would say, is super old school, like Heart of the Swarm old school. While mine build is quite old school as well. I don't know if it's a, a real Heart of the Swarm build. Probably not. I was freestyling a lot, I think, in this game. But the idea behind it seems to be quite Heart of the Swarm style-ish. I like the overload spread uh, from Grim Grimaldi. He's doing a good job here. Uh, but at some point now he's taking gases. Yeah, that's that's important. He needs to get uh, speed for his circlings, spanelings, lair tag, all of that stuff. Uh, fairly soon, I would say. It's, it's important to have all of that. And yeah, my, my goal is, of course, to, to, to get the starport done. And get stint marines with combat shields, upgrades, and a bunch of medivacs for dropperino, healerino, boosterino, and stuff like that. So double evo chamber not lining up perfectly with the gases for Grimaldi. Um, ooh, SCV scout gets killed. Sees a bunch of fiends. No base here, so I have to anticipate the bases here, or there is none at all, which would make me panic a lot. 
because that's never never a good sign. I have to say that's really never a good sign. So the medivac should be on the way now, yeah, and more barracks. Okay, so five racks before the third command center. That that was one way of playing TVC in Heart of the Swarm. And even though this build is super outdated, sometimes it can still work. There we see the layer attack from Grimaldi. It really <laughs> plays out like uh, a Heart of the Swarm game without Hellions or Banshees so far. So you have no action at all here in this game. <laughs> but a lot of macro and you can see it is possible to, you should see that it's possible to hit the 100 supply at the 7 minute mark. I mean if nothing dies and with commands in the first maybe you can be on 120 supply no matter what race you are. This is fairly even for, for all races I have to say. Here's the first move out, 60 marines, 2 medivacs, stim to win, uh, kill some creep tumors, standard stuff, and I'm killing a lot of creep here, pushing very deep, there we go, loading up, oh, <laughs> one shot, one shot away from getting killed there, that was so close, and it's important to not lose the initial first units, this will snowball, so fast, so hard out of control, if, if you lose, if you lose your initial units in a game without heavily trading, then you are so boned. Uh, looks like Rimaldi. There you see it. 100 supply, minute 7 is possible. Definitely possible. So yeah, Grimaldi taking another base here. And the supplies are fairly even. What's, what's the army and the worker supply? The worker supply looking really good here for Grimaldi. The army supply uh, favoring me so far and it looks like I'm moving out with a lot of marines uh, two hellions however interesting choice here the marines have plus one his circlings and banings however have one one so his upgrades are better uh, he re-established the creep spread very well on that side of the map and I don't know if that's looking good here he got a lot of banings a lot of circlings Actually, only five banings, that's not enough, and the splits seem to be decent. I don't whoa, I don't think he can win this at all with just circlings. I mean, he got 1-1, one, one, yes, but those are so many marines. The marines and the hellions from behind, not sure if the queens can do this. I don't think so. This probably is just game. And there you see it. Hitting a timing in, in Legacy of the Void can still pay out. It wasn't the best. I, I I think against some other builds I may have had a lot of problems. But in this game it worked. So hitting a timing can still be very viable in Heart of the Swan. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.